हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन काउंटिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑन प्रोडक्ट रूल फॉर काउंटिंग सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस एग्जांपल अबाउट सो हियर वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट दैट हाउ मेनी फंक्शंस आर देयर फ्रॉम ए सेट विथ एम एलिमेंट्स टू अनदर सेट विथ एन एलिमेंट्स so this is the problem of counting functions from one set having m elements to another set having n elements so first we understand how we can do this problem so for that suppose i consider two non empty sets suppose this set contains m elements which we denote by a1 a2 a3 up to so on and am and suppose this set is denoted by capital a on this side we consider another set which we denote by capital b and this set has n elements which we denote by b1 b2 b3 up to bn now we have to count the possible number of functions from set a to set b so we just recall the definition of function uh, if we have a rule or relation which assigns to every element of set a unique element from set b then that rule or relation is called a function from a to b so function is a rule which assigns element from set b to every element of set a which we call as domain so to construct a function from a to b we have to assign elements from set b to every element of set a so the task of counting the functions is a combination of different task the task of counting the function from a to b can be considered as a procedure of different task those different task are assigning elements of set b to every element of set a now here in set a we have m elements so we have to assign elements from set b to every element of set a which is the domain of the function so we consider task t1 as assigning an element from set b to first element that is a1 t1 is the task of assigning assigning element from set b to element a1 of set a similarly t2 will be considered as the task of assigning element from b to another element of set a2 and so on tm is the task of assigning element from set b to this mth element of set a so to construct a function from a to b we must perform this t1 t2 up to tm tasks all these tasks are necessary to construct a function from set a to b so our procedure is broken down into m different task t1 is assign element from set b to a1 t2 is assign element from set b to a2 and so on tm is assigning element from set b to this mth element now for this uh, first element a1 we can assign element any element of set b to a1 so we can assign either b1 or we can assign b2 b3 up to bn because there are n elements so number of ways of assigning element from set b to this element a1 are n so task t1 can be done in m ways number of ways of assigning an element from set b to this element a1 is n because there are 
n elements here i should write n uh, we can assign b1 to a1 we can assign b2 to a1 and so on we can assign bn to a1 so these are the different elements from set b which we can assign to element a1 so these are n elements so there are n ways to select an element from set b for this element a1 or we can say that image of a1 under f has n possibilities f of a1 can be b1 f of a1 can be b2 and so on f of a1 can be bn so there are n images possible for this element a1 so task t1 that is assigning element from b to a1 can be done in n ways similarly suppose we consider task t2 as assigning element from set b to a2 a2 is the second element of set a so for a2 also there are n possibilities b1 b2 and so on up to bn so we can assign any of these n elements to this element a2 so task t2 can also be done in n ways as in the case of a1 a2 also has n possible images similarly if we consider a3 then for a3 also there are n possibilities from set b we can assign any of these elements to a3 so again there are n ways to perform the task t3 task t3 is assigning element from set b to set to element a3 so in general if we consider mth task that is assigning element from set b to mth element which is am so here also there are n possibilities so this also can be done in n ways so there are m tasks t1 t2 up to tm each task can be done in n ways therefore by the product rule our procedure of constructing functions can be done in n into n into n and there are m tasks so this is m times so this is going to be n raised to m so these are the possible number of functions n raised to m functions from set a to set b so we are just using the definition of function definition of function says that uh, we have to assign an element from set b to each element of set a so for a1 there are n possibilities b1 b2 up to bn for a2 again there are n possibilities b1 b2 up to bn and similarly for am there are again n possibilities b1 b2 bn therefore there are n into n into n m times that is n raised to m functions from set a to set b so if they ask you this type of question you can answer in this way a function corresponds to a choice of one of the n elements in the codomain for each of the m elements in the domain this says that for a1 there were n possibilities b1 b2 b3 up to bn so a function corresponds to a choice of one of the n elements in the codomain for each of the m elements in the domain so that means suppose we consider a1 element of domain then there are n possibilities to assign for this element a1 similarly for a2 again there are n possible images b1 b2 bn so that is meaning of this uh, statement a function corresponds to a choice of one of the n elements in the codomain for each of the m elements in the domain therefore by the product rule there are 
n into n into n equal to n raised to m functions from a set with m elements to a set with n elements. So you can simply write in this way your answer and uh, you can understand by considering this type of logic we are just using the definition of function. Definition of function says that we have to assign element from codomain to each element of domain. So for a1 there are n possibilities, for a2 there are n possibilities and for am there are n possibilities. Therefore there are n raised to m possibilities. So there are n raised to m functions from set a to set b. So they can ask you this type of questions of counting functions from one set to another set. Instead of giving uh, these arbitrary values they can write uh, from a set with suppose 7 to 5 elements. So in that case uh, also you can answer suppose you have in the domain you have 7 elements and in the codomain suppose you have 5 elements. Here I consider 7 elements in the domain say a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6 and a7 and suppose in the codomain I have b1, b2, b3, b4 and b5. Suppose you are given this type of sets a and b. In set a we have 7 elements, in set b we have 5 elements. So we can uh, count the number of functions from set a to set b. Again same logic for a1 different possible images are b1, b2, b3, b4 and b5. Any of these can be image of a1. So we can assign any of these 5 elements to set uh, to element a1. So there are 5 possible ways of considering image of a1. Similarly for a2 again there are 5 possibilities. We can, uh, we can assign b1, b2, b3, b4 or b5 to this element a2. Similarly for a3 there are 5 possibilities, for a4 there are 5 possibilities, a5 5 possibilities, a6 5 possibilities and a7 5 possibilities. So you know, we have to consider 5 into 5 into 5 7 times that is 4, 5, 6 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this is 7 times. So this is going to be 5 raised to 7. So there are 5 raised to 7 functions possible from set with 7 elements to a set with 5 elements. So here we are applying product rule. These are the number of ways of assigning images to each element of domain. So in this way you can answer this type of questions using product rule for counting. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.